Thanks. Back to our breaking news overnight. Three men killed along the East Freeway. Yeah, three all at once. Deputies aren't sure why they were outside a vehicle when another driver crashed right into them. ABC 13's Charlie Etsidi live this morning along I-10 in the Channel View area. And Charlie, the freeway has reopened, in fact, less than, what, an hour ago? Yes, Amika, so good news for drivers that are headed outbound here on the East Freeway. Uh, you're not going to have any delays this morning because HCSO has since wrapped up their investigation. But just a few minutes ago, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez tweeted out the identity of the driver who's accused of causing this fatal accident and also believed to have been intoxicated at the time. So we've learned that the driver is 24-year-old Jonathan Lazo and is now facing some pretty serious charges. So this accident left three people dead. And so here's what we know so far from the HCSO investigation. They were called out here to the East Freeway near the Magnolia exit around 1230 overnight. So we've learned that the three men who were killed had stopped their vehicle along the shoulder of the freeway for some reason, and they all got out of the out of the car. That's when another driver uh, identified as Mr. as Jonathan Lazo. Uh, he was headed in the same direction and struck that vehicle and all three of those men killing them. So the driver was detained out here on the scene. Everybody involved is believed to be in their 20s. And take a listen here to what investigators had to say about the driver who caused this crash. I just asked the community pull together. We've got at least two families out here. They're going to be changed forever. And the other thing I want the community to do is stop drinking and driving. It's a real simple and easy incident to avoid. And the driver accused of causing this crash is likely going to be facing three counts of intoxication manslaughter. So obviously some very serious charges. We're live from the East Freeway this morning. Charlie at City ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Charlie, thank you. More